This month on Highlander Highlights, we're taking a look at Thanksgiving and the things that we should be thankful for. From family traditions to favorite foods, we asked McLean students how they celebrate this American tradition. We also interviewed Mr. Arun about the coronavirus and what it's going to look like when schools reopen. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this month's episode of Highlander Highlights. The month of November is about being thankful, spending time with family, and grabbing out some good food. We want to know how you celebrate Thanksgiving and what family traditions you and yours have. So, we interviewed a few students at McLean and asked them what they do for Thanksgiving. Hi, so who am I speaking with today? Hi, my name is Desi. So, tell me some things that you're thankful for. Some things that I'm thankful for are my siblings and of course my family. I am thankful for the roof over my head. Um, I can I can say the same too. What are your favorite dishes that your family loves to cook for Thanksgiving? Um, some dishes my family love to cook are the turkey, um, egg rolls, we make fried rice. Would you say that you help cook, you help with the cooking or do you just let all the adults do all the work. I like to say that I help with the cooking, like I shred carrots mm -hmm. and cut vegetables. Um, what is your favorite Thanksgiving memory that you have? My favorite Thanksgiving memory is was when my grandfather used to make the turkey and it was by far the best turkey that I've ever had. What are some activities that you guys play on the day of Thanksgiving? Um, some activities my family do, does are we like to play games like charades and we play, we love playing card games. Thank you for participating in my video today. Of course, thank you for having me. Okay, so your name is? My name is Romel. And what are you thankful for? I'm thankful for God for letting me live and uh, my family, my sister, my dad, and all the folks at home. Okay, so during this time of Thanksgiving, what type of activities or things do you guys do? Uh, yeah, we uh, make food like the old days and uh, make turkey and mashed potatoes and gravy and stuff. So you would say those are your favorite types of dishes and things? Oh yeah. So what are your favorite type of things to do with your family during Thanksgiving? Mostly hang out with the fam and like just, you know, spend time with the fam. All right, thanks for having me. So what is your name? My name's Nicholas. Nicholas, what are you thankful for? I'm thankful for having my family with me still. What family traditions does your family take part in during Thanksgiving? We usually throw pies at each other at the dinner table. What are your favorite dishes that your family cooks during Thanksgiving and why? We cook turkey and mashed potatoes because it's the natural thing to do, and we just like it a lot. Hi, my name is Genesis Hernandez, and this is... Natalie Castro. Okay, so I have Thanksgiving questions for you. So the first one is, what are you thankful for? I am thankful for my family and friends, and you. <laughs> <laughs> and what family traditions does your family take part in during Thanksgiving? Um, well, we usually just gather around and we just pray sometimes. Yeah. And um, the last question is, what are your favorite dishes that your family cooks during Thanksgiving and why are they your favorite? My favorite dishes are tamales. And the reason why is because we get together and we make the tamales ourselves. Yes. I remember one time I had help. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, uh, that's all the questions I have for you, and thank you for letting me interview you. Thank you for letting me do the interview. <laughs> Hi, my name is Adrian Barajas. It's been several months since we were last able to walk the grounds of McLean and attend classes like we usually did. Even though we adapted to online school by now, I am sure most of us are waiting to go back to McLean as soon as possible. Okay, today we are doing an interview regarding COVID-19 and McLean's new policies for when we come back. 
Uh, today I'm joined by Mr. Arun. Could you explain who you are and what do you do? Uh, yes, so uh, greetings everyone. Uh, my name is Mr. Arun and I am the coordinator for the college and career readiness for the McLean High School region. So I oversee all of our career technical education pathway programs here at McLean High School, which includes the Medical Education Research Academy, the Academy of Finance and Entrepreneurship, the Teacher Academy, and the Art Venture Academy. How do you feel about schools not being able to open during COVID-19? That is a good question. So honestly, sometimes it feels very frustrating not being able to have schools open as it is a challenge for everyone, you know, ranging from internet connectivity to keeping up with the assignments and managing your daily schedule. And there are students saying that online learning is not working out for them. And trust me, I do. And you know, all the admins of McLean High School do feel for all the teachers, students, and parents. However, please remember that safety, that safety and health is our number one priority right now. And there is a very good reason to why we cannot reopen schools as this virus is very serious and it could affect anyone you know that could be your family or even your friends. So therefore it is time to stop waiting and embrace this new change and adapt this new era of online learning. When we open back up, what are some plans do you have for reopening? So currently uh, there are no concrete plans in place yet. But Fresno Unified will be hosting a virtual town hall meeting this Thursday, November, November 19th from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. for students, parents, and the community members to share their plans for when Fresno County achieve orange tier status. And let me repeat that. This plan is only if Fresno County achieves orange tier status where we can safely bring students and staff back to in-person instruction. So this two-hour event uh, will provide details around our timeline for returning school schedules, safety and health protocols, and many more. In addition, uh, students, parents, and community members will also have the opportunity to ask questions uh, from the district leaders as well as the leadership team from the Fresno Teacher Association. So you said we don't have a concrete answer to when we'll come back, but do you yourself have an estimation of when we'll come back? Yeah. Honestly, I do wish I I have an accurate answer for you all, but at this point we do not know it, you know, as the situation is very fluid and it changes at the last minute. For instance, you know, we just learned that Fresno County recently moved back from the red tier to the purple color tier as of November 16th. So when we move back from red to purple, that means that we are in the most restrictive levels of reopening. And like I mentioned earlier, uh, we will not be able to come back until we reach the orange color tier. And I, we do not know how long it would take, you know, to get into the orange tier status if COVID-19 cases are still on the rise. And that is why it's very important for everyone in the community, you know, for students to uh, talk to the community, to their parents, to their families and friends, to practice social distancing, avoid social gatherings, and wear a mask, you know, to help slow the spread of COVID-19. The sooner we can slow the spread, the sooner we move into the orange tier, and the sooner we can come back on campus, you know. So that's why it's hard. I wish we have an accurate answer, but, you know, we thought we would come back in August, look where we are now in November. You know, and we thought, we're thinking that we could come back in January, but there's a possibility, but we do have to hope for the best that we would come back. So if everyone do, does their part, hopefully we will come back on campus. If we do come back, do you think school will have the same atmosphere and just energy that it had before COVID? Hmm, that is a very great, uh, good question. So in my opinion, even if schools were to reopen, uh, please note that we are still in a pandemic and COVID-19 may continue to stay. So therefore, the, the what we call normal life that we used to have may not be the same, you know, as everyone will still be cautious in terms of wearing a mask, practice social distancing. And at some point, I do believe that we will eventually return back to our normal lives as it was before, but it will take some time to recover. And please note that if you look through history, the last pandemic that happened about 100 years ago, known as the H1N1 virus, that lasted as long as three years before we 
could go back into a normal life. So currently with COVID-19, we are about eight months out now. So since March to now, it's about eight months. And we do not know how long this would last. It could be shorter or it could be even longer. So just take that with a grain of salt. And finally, how has not seeing students physically affected uh, you mentally or even physically? So honestly, it is very sad, you know, for my part, to, for me not being able to see, to meet, and interact with students in person. And as a coordinator, you know, for the college and career readiness here at McLean High School, one of my favorite moments about my job is being able to walk into our CTE classes and observe what students are currently working on, on their projects, able to chat with them and how they're feeling, able to give, you know, and one of the things I love giving advices and guidance about college and career planning, you know, especially where our students are trying to figure out what path they want to pursue right after high school and not being able to meet students in person and everything in virtual, it makes it very difficult to do my job. You know, as most of my job requires a lot of students' interaction. So it has taken a toll on me, but like I said, we have to be strong and we're all in this together, you know. I know at home, students are feeling the same way and teachers are feeling the same way as you, you know. Mm -hmm. And we just want to make sure we hope for the best and, you know, hopefully that we do go back to normal. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was the interview. Uh, I want to thank you for meeting with me uh, at this time. Yeah, and it's my pleasure meeting with you too. And I wish you all, and like I said, hopefully, uh, you know, we hope for the best and we would be able to slow the spread of COVID-19 and able to come back soon. The future is uncertain, but hopefully we can soon return to normalcy when pre-COVID. Thanks for watching.